In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. We already have seen few proof questions and what is meant by symmetric matrix and skew symmetric matrix. In this video, let's see the proof question related another problem. You remember we saw a proof question in the previous videos which explained us the theorem or the property that yes, any square matrix can be expressed as the sum of a symmetric matrix and a skew symmetric matrix. This question is related to that proof question as well. So you need to watch the previous videos before watching this video. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with the proof or the solution. Right. So the question is if A is equal to a given matrix which you can see has 3 rows, 3 columns so it is a 3 by 3 ordered matrix or a square matrix of order 3 is expressed as the sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. It is said that you have been given a matrix and that matrix is already expressed in the form of sum of two matrices, one symmetric, other skew symmetric. Then what symmetric matrix was it? What is the symmetric matrix? Let's write the heading as solution and then we will be starting with the solution of it. I know that this matrix is given with the name A. So let A is equal to the sum of P plus Q wherein I take P as my symmetric matrix and I take Q as my skew symmetric matrix. If this is the case, I know that my P which is the symmetric matrix would be what? It would be half into A plus A transpose from what we have watched and learnt in our previous videos and skew symmetricity that means Q is what? Q is basically half into A minus A transpose, right? So that means my Q becomes half into A minus A transpose, my P becomes half into A plus A transpose. What is needed? We don't need to solve extra things. We only need to find out the symmetric factor. So we will be only looking into consideration P because P is the only symmetric factor. So we basically need to find out half into A plus A transpose. That means half into A plus A transpose. Why? Because I know that P is the only symmetric factor and not Q. So basically I need to go about finding half into A plus A transpose wherein A is given to us and the question but A transpose is not given. Let's write down A first. What is A? A is 2, 0, minus 3, 4, 3, 1. It is 2, 0, minus 3, 4, 3, 1. Last but not the least, rho is minus 5, 7, 2. It is minus 5, 7, 2. A given to us. A can be written. What about A transpose? You need to find out. What is A transpose? You basically interchange the rows and the columns. First row, 2, 0, minus 3 becomes first column. Second row, 4, 3, 1 becomes second column. Third row, minus 5, 7, 2 becomes third column. Minus 5, 7, 2. Now, these three rows and columns have been interchanged to obtain A plus A transpose which is needed. So, what is A plus A transpose? Let's add all the elements one by one. So 2 from here, 2 from here becomes 4, 0 from here, 4 from here again becomes 4. Next, minus 3, minus 5 becomes minus of 8. Next, 4 plus 0 becomes 4, 3 plus 3 becomes 6, 1 plus 7 becomes 8, minus 5, minus 3, minus 8 again. Next is what? Next is 7 plus 1 which is 8. Last but not the least, 2 plus 2. What is it? It is 4. This is A plus A transpose. But what are we supposed to find? We are basically finding half into A plus A transpose. So what is half into A plus A transpose? Half into A plus A transpose is basically my matrix P which I have written here and that is the symmetric matrix and that will be the answer. So my answer is equal to P which is half into A plus A transpose. Let's find out. Half into A plus A transpose will be a 3 by 3 matrix. Half into 4, that means 4 divided by 2 will be 2. Half into 4 is again 2. Half into minus 8, that means minus 8 upon 2 is minus 4. Half into 4 is 2. Half into 6 is 3. Half into 8 is 4. 
minus 8 into half or minus 8 divided by 2 is minus 4. Half into 8 is again 4. Half into 4 is 2. So this is the answer of my matrix which is actually the symmetric matrix out of the sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. The answer is the last one. This is a matrix, 3 by 3 matrix with 3 rows and 3 columns.